this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. Welcome back to my channel. So we are here for another one of our Pinterest Picks um, series or episodes in the series. And today I want to just have, <coughs> excuse me, have a try at doing these gorgeous puzzle pieces. I have seen um, other people do the puzzle pieces, I think. Um, I'm sure that I saw Tracy Fox uh, do some puzzle pieces um, quite a while ago. But this one particularly just captured my imagination when I saw this on Pinterest. Isn't it just so pretty? I love, love, love the colours of it. It's just gorgeous. So I thought that we could have a go and, um, you know, do some. So here I've got these um, Power Rangers puzzle pieces. So this is obviously an old puzzle of, you know, my son's really. Um, it's not vintage, obviously. Um, but, you know, that's hopefully not really going to be a big deal or matter once the puzzle pieces are done hopefully they're going to look lovely and vintage anyway um so i'm just going to select some now i mean obviously some puzzle pieces just i think are nicer shapes than others um but i don't want to kind of really get to you know dwell in too much on them i mean this i don't think is going to make such a nice shape or such a nice piece as this piece if that makes sense so I'm going to try and just stick with the more, I, I, well, I guess they're kind of symmetrical shaped or more symmetrical shaped. Um, I'm going to try and stick with those. So I bought along some of my decorative papers, just tiny little scraps that I can just use to cover these. I've got some Mod Podge here and then I've got a whole bunch of little flowers and things that I'm hoping that I can kind of make the um, centerpiece. Oh no, look, <laughs> look at the size of those flowers. They are huge on there, monstrous on there. Wow, she must have either used a really big puzzle piece or really, really tiny flowers. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. I also have got these little die cut pieces, but again, <laughs> I thought they were quite small. They're huge compared to the puzzle pieces. So um, yeah, I might have to have a bit of a rethink here unless I've got some smaller pieces. So let's just have a quick look. I thought this would be quite a good way to use up some of these that I've had sort of in my stash for a long time. Well, probably not that long, but things that I've been hoarding for a long time. So I thought, let's just bring them along and try and use some. But yeah, they're actually, they're too big, which I hadn't really factored that in. I thought they were going to be pretty tiny but I hadn't realised just how tiny that the puzzle pieces were. I mean, of course, I can cut off some of the white edging and things. So, I mean, hopefully we can shrink these down a little bit, um, but they may well be going to be a little bit on the large side still. Well, let's just, let's just go for it anyway. And we'll just see what we can, what we can do and how we can adapt them. I'll get rid of obviously some that are really huge and you know definitely going to be a no-go. Right, let's just leave those there. So the first thing that I want to do is obviously cover my puzzle pieces. Um, if you can see, she's used kind of two different papers and torn them down the middle, which I think looks really, really pretty. So I thought that I would do a similar thing. So I've got some texty page here and then I've got some patterned papers. So let's just go for that. now. I'm going to sand these down just to give them a little bit of a surface for my papers to glue onto. I mean, to be honest, it probably would glue over these anyway. Um, but just in case, I think it's quite handy to just sand them down a little bit. So, like that. So, I'll just quickly sand down the ones that we're going to be using. I can't believe the size of <laughs> those flowers on top of these. I know it sounds crazy and I really should have checked before the video, but I just kind of assumed that they were going to be okay because to me, I felt like those flowers were quite small and I felt being a child's puzzle that these puzzle pieces were going to be quite big. But yeah, clearly I had underestimated how big the flowers actually were and overestimated how tiny these... Um, puzzle pieces actually were so still never mind we will hopefully still be able to do something that looks pretty so just sand them down so I hope that you're enjoying the series um 
it's really nice kind of having inspiration coming from somewhere and just you know like I've said in everyone I'm not in any way trying to actually you know pull off a replica or anything like that I'm just trying to draw inspiration from the pictures that I've seen and then do it in my own style or my own way or using my own you know my own supplies that I've actually got so it's been really really fun right okay now <laughs> again I should have done a prototype really but obviously as you know from the whole flower mishap I definitely didn't um so it's up to you really how you do these but you can either obviously draw around the paper which then you know that might be the easiest way to actually be able to then cut it to size I'm going to probably be you know <laughs> probably regret my decision but I'm going to just glue it on and then I'm going to just go in with my craft knife or my scissors and just cut it from the back um yeah like I say I might live to regret that and wish that I had actually done it a different way but let's see how we get on with a couple and you know maybe have to review that decision further into the video so I'm just going to put it on like that now I might be better off kind of covering up the whole of the you know this notch if you see what I mean with one paper rather than trying to put two papers around I mean it to be honest it probably doesn't really matter yeah I'm probably over complicating this now but anyway let's just see so again just take sort of some other paper to just put on the other half of the jigsaw puzzle piece I mean as I'm doing this I'm thinking these just look awful <laughs> absolutely awful but I'm hoping that obviously the magic happens once you cut them to your puzzle piece shape at the moment they just look like a bunch of torn scraps like stuck over something so I'm doing it or hopefully doing this in a little bit of an efficient way just kind of layering up my pieces like that and then I'll glue them all on at the same time I'm hoping that this is going to be a little bit faster than doing them all individually actually oh yeah I'll just use this because then we're you know we're being really good using up all of the scraps there okay this is slightly thicker paper so it might be you know a bit trickier to use to be honest but we'll see and actually this is not the best shape puzzle piece because I've got a um very irregular sort of piece here which I suspect that those bits that stick in are going to be a lot harder to cut round than the bits that stick out I might be wrong but something just tells me that they look like they're going to be right so let's move that one over and we'll just layer these ones up I mean to be honest I might just regret doing this project full stop because <laughs> this is probably not my type of thing it's um quite fiddly well i mean i haven't tried cutting them yet but i'm i'm guessing they're going to be quite fiddly to cut right so that's those and then i'm just going to take my little brush and then we'll get painting the mod podge on now again i'm using mod podge because that's what i've got you know to hand but of course you know if you've got something else that you would prefer to use then I'm sure that would be fine too. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure that tacky glue and things like that would all work fine on here as well. Okay. So that's that. And then I'm going to put the book page down first. Like that. And I've done exactly what I said I was going to try and avoid, which was having the two sheets of paper over that little sticky out piece but never mind right so that's the first one press that down I might just put my gesso upside down on there to kind of you know weigh it down okay let's do the next one I mean to be honest again 
read through the comments because I suspect that some people have got some much cleverer ideas of how to get your paper on in the most efficient way. Um, you know, it's quite funny because often I do videos and then, you know, people make suggestions and ironically, it's not even entered my head to do it, you know, the things that people suggest. So, um, yeah, <laughs> definitely have a look down the comments because probably there's some awesome suggestions as to the quickest and easiest way to do these. Just wondering whether I've actually got any jigsaw puzzle piece left on there. Mm, haven't got a great deal over there with the book page, actually. Oh, this, yeah, this is quite fiddly. Quite fiddly. Okay. I thought that maybe I was going to do tons of these because I thought, oh, these look so pretty. I can picture me using these. But yeah, to be honest, now I'm thinking perhaps, perhaps this will be a one and only time because perhaps they're just going to drive me potty being quite fiddly to make. Oops, okay. So again, just pop that one down onto the onto the pile that I've got drying now on the gesso. Okay. Like that. Oops. So I hope everyone's having a good day. Maybe you're doing some crafting. Whoops, what, what is it that you're um, working on? Have you got some nice projects on the go? Are you just starting maybe a new project? Maybe you've been doing some of the Pinterest um, projects that I've been doing this week. Okay. Yeah, I've been really enjoying it because... Um, you know, sometimes it's nice to just get some inspiration from somewhere else, really, and not kind of be thinking up an idea yourself. So, um, yeah, I've been really enjoying it. I hope you guys have too. Right, let's just paint this one. We've only got two more to do, so if it's a bit tedious, we've only got a couple more, a couple more left. And then the fun will really start because that's when we'll obviously get our craft knife out and um, yeah, it will uh, be really hard. So if I thought this was fiddly, I am sure that it's going to get much, much worse. Right, okay, so that's that. I mean, goodness knows how you would do these if you were using, you know, like the really tiny puzzle pieces, you know, like the thousand puzzle pieces or, you know, the 2000 piece puzzles because those pieces are titchy, absolutely titchy. So yeah, I mean, I would really struggle, really struggle. So, I mean, I was just lucky because we happen to have, you know, some children's puzzles. <clears throat> but I mean, you can always find puzzles in, you know, charity shops and things like that. I mean, admittedly, we're in lockdown at the moment, so there's no, no shops open you know, of that sort. Anyway, we just have kind of supermarkets and things open at the moment, but right. That's that piece. Okay. Right. Let me just wipe the table a little bit and press that down. Okay. Right. Whoops. It's now stuck on the, the lid of the gesso. Right. Let's go for the first one that we did and we'll see how we get on. Now I did say I was going to use the craft knife. Whoops. I might even be able to do it with scissors. I'm not sure. What do we think? Let's try with the craft knife. Now, craft knives are not really my thing. It's another thing that I just find way, way, way too fiddly. So, again, might just kind of, you know, live to regret this. Right. Oh, let's have a go. So I'm just going to go around. Now, obviously my glue is still very wet and so I'm a bit tearing the paper here and it yeah, would obviously be working a lot better if I was leaving this to dry. But of course, because I'm doing a video, I'm you know, just trying to do it quite quickly. So <laughs> I'm not really kind of worrying too much how this is cutting. Um, oh my goodness because I'm hoping I'm going to be able to neaten this up with the sandpaper. Oops. 
I should have really put my glasses on to be honest to do this because then I'm sure I would be making a bit more of an accurate job of cutting in. Right, okay, so the only bits that I haven't done are those couple of bits that are in there because they just look hideous, hideously tricky to do. Right, let me put my glasses on for this piece. Okay, right, round there. So like I say, I'm really not kind of too worried. It's obviously just tearing, you know, because that paper's very wet with the Mod Podge, but I'm hoping that, you know, I'm going to be able to neaten this up. So, and what I will probably do is maybe instead of using sandpaper, I will use a nail file, you know, an, an emery board, because that's obviously, you know, quite tiny. I'm going to be able to get in around my puzzle piece. So, oops. Come on. Okay, well, I mean, it's not brilliant, but hopefully once I've sanded the whole thing, you know, it will look a lot better. So, just going around the whole thing. I mean, she's actually got the flowers and a bee on there. So, I'm thinking maybe she used like a giant, um, you know, those children's floor puzzles. Or, you know, I guess like a sort of baby's puzzle piece, you know, because they're huge, aren't they? Maybe she's used something like that. I don't know. Because I don't think you'd be able to fit a bee and flowers on any of these. Well, I don't know. Maybe you would. I haven't really seen any that tiny, but... Okay. And, you know, if you've got any colour showing through from your background of your puzzle piece... Again, I'm not really too worried because I'm going to probably edge this. She's edged hers in gold, which looks really pretty. So I might do that. Um, or, you know, I might even just ink it or use a black stays on or something like that. You know, don't be too worried if, like here, I've got like the red showing down there. We can disguise that. So, okay. I mean, I've got another piece here with blue, so let's just file that in. Okay, well, I mean, it's not the best, I have to say. <laughs> not the best at all. Um, but it, it's okay. It's, it's okay. Hopefully it's going to look okay anyway. Right, let me get rid of these little bits and pieces. Right, let's see if I've got any flowers that are going to be titchy enough. Oh, there we go. That's not too bad, is it? Yeah. Yeah. That's not too, too bad. So I'm going to just ink around this first, make it look nice and vintage. Just going to put my Mod Podge back into the jar and then put the lid on before I get that everywhere, all around my desk or, you know, spill it. That would be probably quite likely. Okay, right. That's out the way. Um, yeah, let's just ink up the puzzle piece here. Oops. The brush off the desk as well. <laughs> okay. Like that. I mean, already that looks really quite pretty, to be honest. And we've not even, you know, we've not even done really anything much to that. Oops. And then we could have the flower. I think just off to the side, because if I put it in the middle, it's almost losing the shape of it being a puzzle piece, if that makes sense. So I feel like it needs to go off to the side. I'm just going to um, bring it up to the camera to just kind of show you. So it looks quite pretty, doesn't it? And then let's edge it with something. And do we want gold? Oh, yeah, let's have gold. I always like edging things with gold. I think gold always just looks really good. <clears throat> Okie dokie. So, and I'm just using that Inca gold. Love this stuff. It's just absolutely brilliant. And it just goes on so easily. You know, you can just literally put it on with your finger and, um, you know, add as much or as little as you like. 
so like that. Oh, I love how that looks now. You know, my shoddy cutting's not really visible and yeah, it looks really, really cute. So I'm just going to pop that on there. I'm just going to ink the flower up a bit as well. We could edge the flower in gold or do we think that's a bit too much? It's probably not necessary, is it? So let's just glue that flower on there. Just going to use my hot glue because, you know, it's nice and fast I don't have to worry about it then gluing on it's you know it's just instant oh I love how that looks that is so sweet oh see now I'm wishing that I had done these before gone kind of full circle from thinking oh gosh you know these are going to be atrocious to how cute is that it's really 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 sweet isn't it okay so let's do a couple more of these so I've got obviously my whole pile under here so we'll take a couple of different ones. So hopefully we've got, you know, some different, different colors going on. So yeah, we'll do these. Oops. Okay, so this, obviously this is the worst part is the cutting. But like I say, you know, really not kind of getting too worried about it. Because, you know, once we've sanded that, we've inked it, and then, you know, even more, once we've put the gold around it. Oops. Now, actually slice into my puzzle piece. Um, you know, it's it's really fine. You can't really kind of tell so much, <laughs> so much how scrappy and awful my cutting was. So, um, you know, don't get too kind of worked up about making a perfect job of cutting. All you're really trying to do is just get it in some sort of vague shape of the puzzle piece. So. Okay. Oh. oh my goodness, I've made a hideous job of this. I think this is because there's now two layers off the paper here because I've got an overlap. Plus this paper here was actually slightly thicker. Um, the other paper's all been, I think. Oh no, this is regular copy paper too, actually. This one is, is thicker paper. I knew there was one that was thicker. I thought it was this one, but no. Okay, around there, like that. Okay, oops. So perhaps what I should do is cut all of them, or cut these these four, and then we'll do all this sort of stages together. So let's cut this one out now. Oh, I mean, yeah, no, look, this paper's just literally tearing because obviously it's quite soggy still, but I mean, that's fine. And to be honest, it's actually making it easier to get it out of the way. So uh, maybe actually doing it while it's wet was quite handy after all. Okay. Oh, we've got a grey miserable day here. Yeah, it's... um. I think there's rain on the way today, again. Oops. Okay. It's not raining at the moment, but it, it is very gray. So um, I think it's only a matter of time before it does rain. Unfortunately. Okay, whoops. I'm actually filming this um, <laughs> on Friday before it goes up. Hopefully, I think it's going to, going to go up on Sunday um, because I must have either miscalculated how many videos I had done for this series or perhaps I've lost one. I thought I'd actually filmed seven. Um, and then when I was kind of, you know, going on to schedule them, I just noticed that there were only actually six videos. So yeah, I'm actually filming this on, on the Friday, whereas the rest of the series, other than the final one, which now will be going up after this one, um, 
aside from that one, I had all, you know, filmed them all actually quite a long time ago because I'd been doing this series, oh gosh, about last year in about October, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm having to quickly do this one because when I then checked, I discovered there were only seven, uh, six videos, not seven. So, um, yeah. So because this is now actually more in real time, rather than obviously the other videos that have been in slow time. Right, this is just coming up here. So I'm just going to literally hot glue this on. It obviously didn't have enough Mod Podge, so I'm just going to hot glue it because then I can then cut that off without waiting for it to dry at all. Um, yeah, because I'm doing this now in, you know, more real time rather than filming ahead, um, I can kind of, yeah, say thank you so much to everyone for your lovely comments um, during this series. So, yeah, thank you so much. I mean, they're really nice, easy projects, you know, that I've chosen because, of course, <laughs> I don't like doing anything that's not easy. So, hopefully, you know, they're nice and doable for everyone. Right. Oops. So, that's up there as well. So, again, I'm just going to quickly hot glue that down like that. Okay. So I hope that everyone's having a nice weekend. I don't know what the weather is forecast for our weekend. Um, seems to have been quite miserable lately. So yeah, wouldn't be surprised if we have more rain on the way, but I haven't actually seen the forecast at all for the weekend. I don't know what it's, what it's supposed to be doing. I had this um, amazing thing happen on the butterfly clusters um, Pinterest video that went up maybe Wednesday or yeah, maybe Wednesday, I think. Um, I was going through, you know, replying to comments and oh my gosh, it was so exciting because the person whose pin that it was that I had taken inspiration from with the butterfly clusters, it was her pin. And she commented saying, oh my gosh, you know, these were my butterfly clusters. I mean, how exciting is that? I straight away said to my son, oh my goodness, look what's happened. You know, listen to this and read out her comment. I just thought that was so incredible that, you know, she just <laughs> was watching and happened, you know, happened to watch my video using her lovely butterfly clusters from her pin, you know, as my inspiration. And um, yeah, that was really, really, really exciting. I love it when things like that happen. It's so cool. I mean, I'm not great on Pinterest, to be honest. And so, you know, I don't really know how you know whose pins they are and things like that. Um, you know, but I just thought that was so, so cool that it was actually her pin um, and then she, you know, she happened to watch and see the video with, with her pin. So, yeah. Very, very, very cool. I don't know what's going on with this. It's now turning out like the most square, horrible, horrible shaped puzzle piece ever. So I'm just going to try and, try and get round that. Just, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Looks horrible. Looks like a mask from a horror film doesn't it? What's going on with that? Doesn't that look hideous? <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know what's wrong. Oh, it looks good. can you not see it's kind of square? It's not really puzzle shaped, is it? Oh, do you know, I'm going to have to leave that because I'm just going to be here all day trying to rework that and, um, you know, kind of smooth it out. So I think what I'll do is just try and strategically place my flower on there. So as I cover up that hideous edge, because it just looks terrible, doesn't it? So, yeah, my daughter's come up here now. So uh, she's got a sloth cuddly toy. They seem to be like all the rage at the moment, sloths. So, um, yeah. They're your favourite animal, aren't they? 
um, if you like. She's wrapped him up in a blanket. So he looks cute, doesn't he? Yeah, he looks very cute. He does. Right. I'm holding him like an actual baby. You are. And so kind, aren't you? And nice to him. Looking after him so well. Right. Okay. <laughs> That's just awful. And maybe I had beginner's luck with that first one because this just looks like... Oh, absolutely terrible. Okay, let's try another one. Let's see what we can do with this one. Hoping for better. Hoping for better results. I mean, again, just hoping that I'm going to be able to disguise it when we maybe edge the edges with some paint. <laughs> or some of that, you know, the ink of gold. So, again, just going around here. Oh, gosh. wonder if I could actually... Uh, let me get like a paintbrush handle aha uh because -huh. that's kind of then squashing that in and that looks much better doesn't it so let's try that with this one okay i mean that one doesn't look quite so good but it's uh it's maybe improved it a little bit i don't know maybe that one was just a bit unsalvageable i don't know Okay, right. Yeah, so I mean, hopefully you guys maybe have got some old puzzle pieces or something that you could alter. Um, I mean, again, it would depend obviously where you are, whether shops and stores and things are open. As I say, we are in lockdown, so, you know, we don't have anything like charity shops open. And I mean, obviously, I wouldn't go out and buy a brand new puzzle to do these with. I would only kind of use a, you know, a second-hand one. Or like in my case, obviously, one that, you know, the kids have done and they're not really likely to do again. Right, just got some paper here that's just kind of coming up. Again, I mean, I'm just going to really quickly just do that with the hot glue, which that's just like complete overkill because it's just a little piece of paper, but it just, you know... Anything for speed, really. So again, just going into my little pieces here, my notches with my paintbrush. Oh, that looks so cute. That's um, better. So I mean, actually, that's quite a good little way to get your kind of soft edges in those little crevices is just use, you know, I would say a pen or a pencil, but to be honest, they're probably going to be too thick. So, oops, look at that. That's not stuck down at all. Um, yeah, I would say a pen or pencil, but to be honest, they're just going to be too fat. They're not going to really, um, you know, fit into those little spaces. So something like, oh, if you've got any of those kebab sticks or something like that, or... Um, you know, a paintbrush handle obviously works perfectly. Anything that's a little bit thin, thin and narrow, that's going to be your best bet. So, okay. Right, I'm going to go in with my sandpaper because maybe my nail file's a little bit, a little bit blunt and this is going to be quicker. So, I mean, again, actually, could even go in here into these corner little kind of crevices. And, you know, that will just help shape those, I guess. Oh, he looks so cute. Cute and cosy. Whoops. Oh, again, that paper's not really stuck down. I mean, that's obviously because I have mod podged the puzzle piece and when it's gone over to the over the top of the paper it obviously didn't really have any glue so again I'm just going to quickly just stick this down here okay right okay right there's there's our three pieces so hopefully now we're going to um you know work our magic and just disguise how how they look get them looking a little bit better so let me just 
clear the dust off of the desk. So I'm going to again just start by inking them up like that. I mean, I just always think, you know, it's surprising how quickly you can disguise the look of things once you start inking things and, um, you know, if you're going to put sort of gold edge in or maybe maybe those liquid pearl things, if you've got any of those, um, yeah, or, or paint or whatever around the edge. Because to be honest, that's going to cover up and pretty much hide a lot of the, you know, a lot of the rough edges and things. So just going to go in here actually. Okie dokie, there we go, right. Okay, so that doesn't look too, too bad now. So I'm just going to go round the edge with some of my gold again. Actually, I might even do one with the liquid pearls now I mentioned that. Let me just grab my liquid pearls from behind me. The, these pretty things. Ooh. Pretty, isn't it? So I might just do this on this one. So I'll just go around the edge with that. Because isn't that just such a pretty edge? What do you think, sweetie? Do you think that looks pretty? Yeah. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I mean, it's just quite a delicate pink, but, you know, just looks really nice on there. And to be honest, I don't overly use my liquid pearls, so um, it's quite good to have an opportunity to use them, really. It's a hair look that I made and it looks like a little bag. Yeah, oh, it does, doesn't it? Again, I've had the liquid pearls for years, and they're just another one of those things that, you know, I haven't particularly used overly much. Okay. Right, okay. Well, that's disguised that a little bit. I'm going to stick with the gold for the other two, so I'll just pop this back in the little cupboard behind my desk. Trying to be tidy. Trying to, um, yep, tidy as I go. Trying to be good. It's not always easy, obviously. Right. Just in there like that. Okay. Okay, final one. Just quickly go around the edge of this. Right, okay, so now we can just stick our flowers on. So this is where we find, we'll have no flowers that are actually going to fit on here at all. Let's have a look. Actually, the other thing that I have just spotted when I just reached up to put that ink of gold back, I've got some of these little mulberry flowers. So these definitely would be fine I'm sure because these are much smaller so again just kind of peel it off that layer I don't know what's happened to that it's a bit discolored but let's just ink it up a bit oh that's quite sweet isn't it maybe the mulberry flowers are the way to go so I don't know why but maybe I'm a bit zoomed out today Sometimes I think my videos are a little bit zoomed in. So uh, yeah, I zoomed out. That looks really pretty, doesn't it? So I'm going to just hot glue that on there. Again, just nice and quick, like that. And then I also pulled down these little words, which we've made in a previous video. Again, these might be too big now. 
because they are already on the little backing pieces of paper but oh how cute does that look that is so pretty isn't it I love how that looks so I'm just going to literally pop that on there like that oh I love it it looks so cute so pretty absolutely gorgeous Okay, let's put a couple of flowers on these. So let me just see whether I've got any other tiny ones from these little die cut pieces. Oh, it's still quite big, isn't it, on there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got this one. That's pretty. So again, I'm just going to ink that up just around those edges. I think I like it on this one best. Yeah. So I'm going to just have that just here. Oh, that's pretty. Right, let's just pop that on. Like that, whoops, like that. And then I wonder if we could have another word on here. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Or do we prefer it up the top? quite nice both places to be fair so oh. just tried to tuck that behind that flower so hopefully you can see that very cute isn't it and this one I think we'll go for another mulberry flower so hopefully got some little pink ones oops okay and I'm just going to separate this out. Oh, goodness, come on. Oops. I don't know what's happening with this. I should, again, just pull my glasses down so as I can actually see what's going on. <laughs> I keep taking them on and off because I keep thinking, oh, I don't want to, you know, wear them all the time where then I can't do anything without them. But to be honest, you know, who am I kidding? It's... um perhaps silly <laughs> because then I can't really see what I'm doing half the time right I'm going to have to put it this side because I want to cover up obviously that terrible um you know that side there that yeah I had so many problems with and then again have we got another little word just a teeny teeny one uh, okay I mean weirdly they all say love but that's because of course love is the tiniest word on on these got like confidence there and happiness and things which were obviously huge to go on these tiny little puzzle pieces so um yeah love just that's the one that fits obviously on most of them so let me just pop this out of the way okay so again just going to ink this up a bit okay and put that down there yeah so the mulberry flowers they are fantastic for these because they're nice and tiny um die cut flowers or you know printables i mean i guess it just depends whether you've got any that are going to be small enough of course you could print your printables smaller um but then you have got to factor in cutting <laughs> cutting such tiny little pieces um yeah but i mean i think those mulberry flowers look really really good on there actually so that's those and then could always add just like a little pearly center if i've got got a little pearly center I'm sure i must have somewhere just looking in my little organizer that's on my desk oh they are going to be huge yeah i'm pretty sure that's going to be like huge on there oh well, it doesn't look as bad as i thought i have got some smaller pearls um now I think they're on my desk somewhere in my huge pile of um of paper so it's whether or not I can get them without knocking everything else down let's just quickly have a look let me just stop the video while I look 
Okay, so I've got these tiny ones, which are going to be much, much better. So just grab a couple of those because I'll put one on each of those with the mulberry flowers. So these are sticky back, um, but I mean, I always just put a little bit of glue on here as well because I just don't ever quite trust them to actually stay stuck down. I'm sure they would. There's, you know, I haven't got any evidence of them not not sticking down, but oops, I just like to oops, add the extra bit of glue. Okay, I mean actually you can barely see that in there now. It's so tiny, but hopefully you can just about see that. Oh, it's so cute, isn't it? Oh, I just love it. So I'll just bring in the one with the other mulberry flower and then we'll just glue that one on as well. I'm just using my wet glue for this, my you know normal tacky glue, and that will hold these perfectly fine. Obviously, you're just going to have to wait for it to dry, um, you know, because it's not instant. Oh, they are so pretty. I really, really, really love them. Um, just wondering whether we could have like any pearls on here anywhere. I mean, you could. You could put like a little pearl somewhere. I don't know. Just like a little couple of pearls on there. Should we do that? Let's, let's go for it. Okay. These, as you can see, they're very annoying because they will come off of the, you know, the backing and they're just stuck all over the packaging now. Um, but that's fine. Okay. Oops, my glue's very messy, so let me just wipe the nozzle. I know that some people find it very distracting. <laughs> yep, Sherry, I'm talking to you. Right, okay. So... Oh my goodness, look at those great big blobs of glue that I've put on there. Okay, I'm going to have to do more disguising now to get rid of those great big blobs of glue. Oh my goodness. Okay, oops. Ah. Right. Let me go in with my wipe now and just get that glue off. Okay. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? <laughs> oh dear. Right. There was so much glue that it just got completely stuck on my finger then. There we go. Oh, there we go. Aren't they so gorgeous? Oh, I've gone from loving them to <laughs> thinking I couldn't stand them to back to loving them again. They're so pretty, aren't they? I really, really, really like them. Okay, well, we probably haven't got time to actually kind of do anything with these today because um, I know that this video is now dragged on for quite a long time considering I've only made four. Um, but obviously after the Pinterest series, I will do a video with some ideas of things to do with these. Um, it won't come up straight away because of course I'll have to, you know, film it and things and then I've got a few other things planned as well. But we will do another video with, you know, ways to use these or things to use these for I mean of course you could just kind of punch a little hole in the top and have them with a bulb pin just dangling like a little charm obviously mine are blue on the back but you could easily just paint that over or something or probably even just peel that backing off um yeah aren't they just so cute so obviously inspiration was taken from this one here and I will try and remember to link that down below in the video description if I forget, just, you know, nudge me as normal. It's just that my memory is shocking and yeah, I just need a bit of a reminder. So, but I really hope that you like them and have fun if you make some. So um, they're really super cute. So thank you so much for watching and see you guys soon. Thanks then. Bye.